and welcome to another YouTube video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books. I hope you're all very well today. Today is the next video in my alphabet series. We are now on letter F and today F is for fast fashion and particularly fast fashion and me and what I'm doing to combat fast fashion. So what I thought we'd do, I'd split the video into three sort of sections. So the first bit is going to be talking about what fast fashion is. Then we're going to move on to um, what my relationship was in terms of fast fashion um, and then finally the last section is going to be about um, my shopping habits, how they've changed, um, and I've got a little a little montage video of me wearing some clothes that I've bought secondhand, um, and just explaining where I got them from and where they were from originally, etc., etc. So let's kick off with what fast fashion is straight. Up, first of all, so I've got some, I've got some, I've, I've done some notes. I'm so pre pre well prepared. I've done some preparation. So the dictionary definition of fast fashion is inexpensive clothing produced rapidly by mass market retailers in response to the latest trends. So this is for instance, um, Primark coming out with a, a shirt um, that costs nine pounds the week after one's been seen on, on a runway somewhere at a fashion week and absolutely mass producing that and that being bought by um, an individual who potentially wear it one night and then never wear it again, chuck it in the bin, it goes into landfill, etc. etc. Um, I've got some statistics here. So this might be so it says here 235 million items of clothing are sent to landfill per year. 700,000 fibres are released in a single domestic wash and those fibres are going into the ocean um, and being consumed by fish, being consumed by um, penguins in far-flung places and just turning up in places where they're, they're not welcome because of our fashion consumption. Uh, 1.2 billion tonnes of carbon emissions were produced by global fashion industry in 2015. 3,781 litres of water is used from going, growing cotton to manufacture and care one pair of jeans. So in order to wear one pair of jeans, 3,781 litres of water is being used to make, sell and wear a pair of jeans. It's just a lot, isn't it? And less than 1% of material used to produce clothing is recycled into new garments at the end of its life. So that's saying that, um, so for instance, I finished wearing this shirt, I would take it for recycling, like it's not gonna be used to make new clothes. Um, so yeah, it's, this fast fashion had never really been um, on my radar until I watched a Stacey Dooley documentary last year um, on the BBC where she talked about and, and, and I went into that documentary thinking it would be about um, what it was like for the, the workers in the factories and things like that which is also a big area of, um, of something we need to look into in terms of what what they're being paid and their working conditions and things like that but this particular documentary focused on the environmental um, the environmental problems that were happening as a result of fast fashion so for instance um, whole entire bodies of water um, are disappearing in order to um, to water cotton um, so that these clothes and garments can be made in the fast fashion industry um, as well as um, landfill things like that and it just really opened my eyes my shopping habits um, were pretty <laughs> were pretty dire last year I've always been really into clothes I love wearing clothes I love styling clothes I love seeing what people are wearing and thinking oh how could I how could I make that work for me etc um, etc et and I was forever buying clothes and I mean my, my the amount of spending on clothes every month was ridiculous and um, I would spend a lot of money online shopping I'd spend a lot of money in supermarket shopping because every time I went and did a food shop um, the the clothes that are sold in supermarkets are such high quality and are really like in keeping with what's in uh, in trend at the moment not so much as like your Primarks and your new looks and stuff on the high street but really like impressive selection of clothing and I would be going in and doing my shopping and coming out with a dress and a pair of shoes and coming out with a jumper and a pair of dungarees every single time and I was just accumulating so many clothes that I would wear once or sometimes not at all that would just sit in my wardrobe um, and um, previously my, my weight would sort of fluctuate so I would go from being a size 12 to being a size 16 um, it's sort of leveled out now um, but there would be stuff in my wardrobe that I bought to wear and then hadn't worn and then just uh, and then it just sat there and it was just doing nothing which I would then hope to give to charity but sometimes not always sometimes I would throw things in the bin which is then just going to landfill and that to me is just now just 
I'm, I'm disgusted at myself really of the way that I the way that I acted and the, the things that I did in terms of fast fashion so what I've tried to do for myself this year is actually start wearing clothes in my wardrobe and start styling my wardrobe and things like that something else I had to get over as well in my head was that I used to tell myself that I needed things I really needed this um, rather than just that I wanted it or thought it was really nice I'd be like well I definitely need that because I'm going there so it's a lot of like retraining yourself um, but one thing I did so instead of going completely cold turkey I said to myself that I would allow myself to buy um, one item of clothing or shoe wear per month um, I was allowed to buy the the, the regular like the things that you would need like underwear tights um, bras um, and socks um, I would be allowed to buy those but I really have cut back on those as well um, and um, I told myself I was allowed to buy one item a month now we are in June now so really I should have been allowed to buy myself six items of clothing so far this year um, but I've bought myself four so already I can see um, a change in my, my, my shopping habits there um, and I've also been doing a lot of secondhand shopping um, which I will get onto a bit later on but so what I've been doing as I said I've allowed myself to buy one item um, of clothing or shoe wear a month and what I've done is I've really like taking care with those items that I've bought um, and planned like and thought well when would I wear it and why would I wear this and how much wear am I going to get out of it and things like that and I'm really pleased with the four items I've bought this year so far because I've worn all but one of them all but two of them so half of the items I will get onto them I'll show you in a minute I'll talk you through why I bought them um so far so I've, I've, I've really got a lot of wear out of them and I feel like going forward I'll get a lot of wear out of them so, so the first item I bought this year was this t-shirt from Joni Clothing now Joni Clothing are a brand that I absolutely love um, and uh, they're an online brand an independent brand and they, they sell a lot of clothes that have sort of slogans on um, to do with uh, women's independence and things like that I've got three jumpers for Christmas from them I absolutely love them if you if you see my outfits of the day you'll, you'll see that I wear quite a lot of Joni Clothing and earlier this year um, for Independent Women's Day they were released this t-shirt which says women power on it um, and it's got this banner here with the suffragette colors of uh, white purple and green um, and I bought this and um, some proceed uh, some money from this I think this t-shirt was 17 pounds and I think 10% of it maybe went to um, a women's charity and I bought this and I was like lovely I'm gonna wear that loads I I'm always like I always wanted to be able to refresh my wardrobe as the as the year went on and I was like this will be perfect now what I will say is that this hasn't been perfect and I think when buying an item like this again I will be more careful so first things I will say is that um, Joni clothing this is made out of 100% organic cotton so it is nice material it's breathable etc etc however I don't think you can see this on the camera but it's it's not white it's sort of like an off-white and I feel like that doesn't really go very well with a lot of things so also the neck isn't the most flattering neck on me it's a very it's a scoop neck and ordinarily I'm used to like quite high up neck so I have worn this a few times and I need to make myself wear it a few more times um but ordinarily I think I would be more erring to the side of buying white t-shirts in future because I get more wear out of them the next thing I bought, I actually needed to buy this um, because I didn't have a swimming costume. We were going on holiday to Wales in April um, and there's a hot tub there and there's a beach there um, and um, I wanted to buy a swimming costume and the last time I bought a swimming costume, and swimming costume shopping has always been for me um, not the greatest time because I'm a size, I'm a size 18 now but, uh, but I've previously been a size, but trying to fit into a size 16 um, swimming costume with not very big boobs um, and size 16 swimming costumes tend to have bigger boob holes um, and just don't none of them have ever really fit me and the swimming costume I was wearing was a swimming costume that I bought in Tesco's a few years ago when I was also on holiday in Wales um, and it didn't fit me very well it was really uncomfortable to get on and off it was really tight because I'd had to go a size smaller in order to hold my boobs in um, so I my cousin Laura told me about this brand called Botoco um, and they make swimwear out of recycled plastic bottles um, so I bought this amazing swimming costume um, which I feel will last me for, for forever more with banana leaves and um, triceratopses on and I absolutely love it it's 40 pounds um, which is mo is probably the most expensive swimming costume I've ever bought but in terms of it being sustainable I can't fault it in terms of it being coming in packaging that was recycled it came uh, it came in um, like cardboard packaging um and i love it it looks amazing i feel like i'm gonna wear it forever ever more this is the sort of item like i don't swim lots i probably swim like four or five times a year although david and i are talking about going swimming more regularly but this for it to be 
made out of plastic bottles, sustainable, looks amazing. I feel great in it. It's got really, so another thing is that it's got really like supportive straps. It's not like skinny little straps that aren't holding my boobs. It really holds me in. It's a lovely little scoop back. It's not cut really, really, really high. Uh, high. It's cut like nice. So like, I don't feel like anything's going to fall out down there. Um, and yeah, for me, that was a complete investment piece and I'm absolutely delighted with it. So when I was saying about items of clothing that I haven't worn that much, um, this is one of them because I don't go swimming very often, but I know this is going to, this is going to come into its own. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get so much use up like every time I go swimming I will be wearing that because I don't own another swimming costume and I'm delighted with it anyway cheers to that swimming costume but Taco. I will link all of the websites that I talk about um, in terms of um, sustainable fashion and things like that down below now the next thing I bought I've already made my money up on these because I've worn them so much however it does come with a disclaimer because something happened which I didn't quite realize until I'd worn them a few times um, but I bought myself a pair of salt water sandals these are um, bright yellow ones they're lovely and comfortable they hold my ankle in they hold my foot in they've rubbed me a little bit um but i feel like that will go away um and i've wanted a pair of these since my sister got married how many years ago did charlotte get married david two Two years ago, my sister got married, and on the, the wedding day, the photographer and the videographer both had saltwater sandals on. One had a green pair on, and one had a red pair on. And I said to them, where did you get those sandals from? They're amazing. They weren't even like there together. They were there separately, but they both had the same shoes on. And, and I was like, they look amazing. They said, they're so comfy. You can run around in them forever. You can dress them up. You can dress them down, and you'll just get so much wear out of them. So ever since then, I've meant to buy myself a pair. Um, and this year... I said to myself, this year is going to be the year I'm buying clothes that are going to last me, I'm buying shoes that are going to last me forever more, um, and this is the year I'm going to buy them. So they are quite pricey, they were £65, how, no, or were they 50 I think they were £55, um, but because it was my first purchase I got a 10% off voucher, so they ended up coming to like £49.50, so just under £50. I got the yellow pair, I was torn between the yellow and the red pair, um, but I really like bright colours, and I feel like bright yellow goes with a lot, lot more, it also goes with dark colours and things like that, um, as does red, but on the day, I just it, it could have been another day and I probably would have ended up with the red pair, but I'm absolutely delighted I ended up with the yellow pair. However, what I will say is after I'd worn them three times, I realised they're made out of leather. Now, I'm a vegetarian. Um, and I avoid leather at all costs but at this point I hadn't even bloody realized so I don't know if there's it wasn't like explicitly on the website or anything like that that's probably how I just it didn't even cross my mind I don't that, yeah it didn't even cross my mind that they would be made out of leather so I will say like if you if you don't like wearing leather which I don't I do avoid wearing leather I've got vegan leather Doc Martens I don't buy shoes with leather in um, but it didn't it just didn't even cross my mind so they're fantastic I've got to say they are kind comfy, they're flat, they hold my foot in, um, I feel like they're going to last me forever, they feel really well made, um, but they are leather, and there may well be leather alternatives on the website, but I didn't, it wasn't explicitly shown to me on the website, and I ended up buying these, um, do I regret buying them because they're leather? Yes, because they're leather. But I've got to say, like, I feel like these are going to last me forever and they look so nice and they go with everything. So um, that was another another, um, another thing. that I've, I mean, I've worn these basically every day since I've got them and they just, they're just lovely. I just, and, and they're like wiped down and yeah, I'm really, really pleased with them. Um, and then the next thing I bought is a pair of shorts from Sainsbury's. So this is the last thing I've bought. Um, and I suffer, I'm a, I'm a, as I said, I was a size 18 girl. I've got quite big thighs. And in the summer, I really, really, really suffer from um, chafing chafing thighs so I get really really sore chafing thighs and actually this happened yesterday I was wearing a skirt yesterday um, and ordinarily that's something I just sort of ignore really um, but this year I thought well I'm going to combat that and I bought this pair of shorts which are a polka dot pair of shorts they were £16 but there was a 25% off sale so I got them for £12 and they look like a skirt <laughs> but they're shorts um, and they're going to really help in terms of the chafe I also feel like black and white polka dot they're going to go with so much they can I can dress them up I can dress them down um, I can wear them to work because they're not like super short or anything and yeah for, so for me that's just a, an example and I've worn these already and um, it's just an example of how my sort of shopping habits have changed whereas previously I just would have bought loads of shorts loads of skirts and worn all of them but now I'm like well that will go with quite a lot of t-shirts and stuff I've already got in my wardrobe um, it's going to not chafe me and yeah just really delighted with the four items that I've bought so far this year um, I don't feel at the moment I don't feel like the need to buy anything more um, 
ordinarily I've got a wedding coming up in August and I would have like bought a new dress for the wedding, bought new shoes, blah, blah, blah. But I'm wearing a dress that I wore to a wedding last year. I'm borrowing shoes from my cousin. Um, and yeah, I just feel like my, my mindset in terms of fashion has changed, which I'm really, really pleased about. And something else I've been embracing is secondhand shopping. And I've been doing the, the all of this on an app called Depop. Um, Depop is an app um, that I've got on my phone and you can search items of clothing, you can search brands, you can search sizes, um, et cetera, et cetera. And um, I've got my Myself a lot of clothes um, from Depop um, secondhand which I've been absolutely delighted with one being this shirt which is just like I think this was made for someone like and so this is like a one-off basically um, and it's made from this material which is pink with all these uh, different women on them um, and I just love it and it's made up cotton and it feels really nice and it just it's just lovely and I just never would have seen this in the shops or anything so I'm really pleased with that I've done as I said earlier I've done a sort of montage of me wearing various outfits um, with things that I bought on Depop um, and I'm gonna pop that towards the end of the video but I just wanted to um, explain to you guys how I use Depop because I feel like it's a bit of a minefield when you look at it because you can end up just trying trawling through a load of shit that doesn't ap appeal to you. Um, so I've got three sort of rules that I use when I'm um, when I'm shopping on Depop. Um, so the first one is be specific and that is in terms of size, shop, style. So for recently I've been looking for some midi skirts or midi dresses. They're the best length on me. Um, so I've been searching size 18, midi skirt, top shop and that will bring up lots of occasionally like the odd bit of shit in there because sometimes people just put words in there so that people will, you'll look at their listings but that's bringing up the more specific you get the better results you're going to get so as opposed to looking midi uh, just searching midi skirt which you're going to come up with hundreds of hundreds of skirts from all different shops um and also if you want a pattern or something like that it's best to put that in there as well but i just feel like being the more specific you are the better the, the better results you'll get um also follow people who you've bought things off of or who's who is the same size as you i follow an instagram account called midsize style and um a couple of months ago she did a sort of depop shout out of lots of people who were um, in the midsize range which is from 12 to 18 18, I think um, and I was able to follow a lot of people off the back of that people who are size 16 to 18 which is my general size um, so I ended up following a lot of people from there but then when I bought things off of people I then started following them so that if they put any more listings up and nine times out of ten they are the same size as me um, because I've bought something off of them um, and you'll be able to get your home feed more curated to your sort of style and your size which is really really helpful and my last hint is just don't hang around because things don't hang around on Depop. If it's if, it, if you see something you like, I would just go for it because three or four times now I've sort of thought, oh, maybe, I, maybe I'll get that um, and then gone back to it and it's been bought already. So yeah, I think if you want to avoid disappointment, um, then to definitely just buy things um, instantly on there. Um, but yeah, it's been a great, great way to buy secondhand clothes. I feel like I've watched thrift hauls um, and um, for me, I don't live in London. I live um, in Kent um, in a small village actually, <laughs> um, but my nearest two towns, their um, their charity shops are just not great. If you can go to charity shops in bigger cities, uh, London, etc., cetera, um, they've got vintage stores and things like that. It's, it's just not like that where I am. Um, and a lot of the stuff, particularly a lot of stuff in my size um, is definitely for the sort of older market and um, just not to my style. So I will continue my hunt um, in um, in charity shops. My friend Emma, who is a, um, a, she's much smaller than me, she's found some fantastic stuff in charity shops around where we live. But just for me, I just haven't managed that yet. Um, so yeah, I need to continue with that and I want to start using charity shops a bit more. But at the moment, Depop has been where I've been buying my secondhand clothes and I've been really, really thrilled with that. Um, one thing that I am going to be doing, can I hear Minnie meowing? No, yes, it's oh. outside. One thing I'm going to be doing this year. So um, previously to this year, I would do a lot of outfit of the days on my Instagram account. I've got an Instagram account at Lauren and the Books, um, and I would do a lot of outfit of the days and show off what I was wearing and things like that. And nine times out of ten, that would be new clothes that I'd bought. Um, and I need to get back into the habit of doing outfit of the days, wearing clothes that I have thrifted or wearing clothes that I've shopped from my wardrobe. And in order to sort of do that, I've come up with something. I don't. Know, it might already been invented, but I'm going to do something called outfit of the day October. Um, on my Instagram account and every single day in October I'm going to post my outfit but more fun than that I'm going to have a pot with 31 sort of outfit prompts in there so these can range from things from like floral to Halloween obviously I'm gonna have all the Hogwarts houses in there so, and I'm gonna sort of curate an, um, an outfit from my wardrobe 
that day based on the thing I pull out of the pot. Um, but I'd love your help with this. If you've got any um, any suggestions for sort of like outfit prompts that you'd like me to do, please do write in the comment down below because I'm going to make a list of 31 of them. They're going to go in the pot. We've got quite some time. It's not until October. I did October because my winter wardrobe is much, much bigger than my summer wardrobe because I'm just not a fan of summer clothes. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, so if you've got any ideas, um, I'm going to put like, I'm really looking forward to doing it actually. Uh, and I'm going to pull it out the night before so I can get things prepped for the next day. Um, and just make sure things are washed and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I thought that'd be quite a fun little thing to do. So that is it. That is fast fashion, some stats and things like that, um, and my relation with it and what I've been sort of doing to combat it and a few things. And now, I, as, I've, as I've been alluding to the whole way through this video, um, I've got some uh, footage of me wandering around. David's had a lovely time with it. What do you call your thing that you were filming me on? Gimlet. Uh, it's called a gimbal. Gimbal. He's been filming me on a gimbal um, uh, so that the camera is really steady and lovely in um, all of my secondhand outfits. So I'm going to hand over now to footage of me frolicking and having a lovely time down the park and at the beach, etc., wearing um, secondhand outfits. And there'll be details there of um, how much they were, uh, where they're from originally, and everything that I mentioned on there I got from Depop. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, it's a bit, something a bit different, and I've been meaning to make this video for a really long time, literally since I, last October. October, I've been meaning to make this video, so I'm pleased that it's finally done, and I will see you all again soon for another booktube video. Goodbye! Hey, no, no, no.